You know, heart disease remains the number one killer of men and women in the U.S. This is despite all the information you hear about preventing heart disease, like taking a statin cholesterol drug or taking aspirin or following a low-fat, low-saturated fat diet. The tragedy of all that conventional information, or what I would call misinformation, is that it causes you to focus on things that barely provide any benefit whatsoever. Yet there are so many additional things you can do that truly disable, el reduce, and often eliminate cardiovascular risk that have nothing to do with any of those conventional strategies. Now, the program to stop, eradicate heart disease risk begins with quantification of coronary atherosclerosis. And it's very easy. You do that with a CT heart scan that generates a coronary artery calcium score. So I've put together a three-part, a detailed three-part workshop on just what a CT heart scan and coronary calcium score provides. It's a three-part workshop, so it's got a lot of detail. I'll post the first workshop live in our undoctored inner circle uh, virtual meetup in our usual time, Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Time, and we'll post it and record it. We will post a recording for our non-member followers to, to view in our undoctored blog and undoctored Facebook page. But if you really want the full story, what this heart scan does, what it measures, etc., and what to do about it, that will be in the entire three-part workshop that we'll post live in the Inner, Inner Circle virtual meetups and then recorded only in our membership undoctored Inner Circle uh, website. So if you like what you see in this first part, and you're not a member, I invite you to become a member. If you are an undoctored Inner Circle uh, uh, member, then uh, you'll see that we'll post all three both live and then recorded sessions in our, in our uh, website. We'll talk about issues like what exactly is a CT heart scan? What does it accomplish? What is a coronary calcium score? And why do we measure calcium? Is that a measure only of hard plaque or do we need a measure of soft plaque? Uh, how much radiation is involved? What, what should we expect from statin drugs or other conventional therapies like aspirin or a low-fat diet? And then if you have a score above zero, when should you repeat it? If your score is 163 or 425, what sh when should you repeat that score? And what does a truly effective coronary prevention program that stops the progression of the score or reduces it? What does that look like exactly? So join me in these lengthy conversations where I give you the deep dive into all the things you need to know and can do in your coronary prevention program being started by the score you get in a CT heart scan.